Hello, it's Maurice Hapre. One of the things that gives many of us the fits is procrastination. You know, for people like myself or others who've had, uh, you know, bouts of things like ADD, ADHD, where you feel like you really have a hard time completing tasks and the completion of tasks may be something that you're really passionate about or you really want to do but you feel overwhelmed by the emotional energy that it takes to get up and actually do it. The follow through is a challenge, right? And so what we want to do is kill procrastination from the start. We want to go ahead and think about the things that pull us instead of the things that push us, right? So if you think about going to work, most people get up in the morning and they say, you know, I've got to go to work. I've got to be there by such and such time. What I want you to do is get to the place in your life where you say, you know what, I can't wait to get to work, right? I'll give you a prime example. And this is not bragging or anything. It's just the way my schedule worked and what works best for our family. I got up about four o'clock in the morning yesterday and I started working out. Finished working out with the idea that I was going to work on research for, for about an hour or two. And then uh, my wife could go for a walk or run. And then I would help my daughter kind of get up and get going for the day, and then I would eat and go to work. Lo and behold, I get the workout in, I eat something, I start doing the research for a little bit, and next thing you know, mama, mama, right? The reality is, I wanted to do the work. My daughter was a healthy distraction, because one, I'm spending time with her, right? So I'm not really putting off the work to spend the time with her, right? But I was looking forward to spending more time doing the work because it's pulling me to go do it. And even though I laid down for a little bit, when I woke up, I said, you know, I, work, I had to make sure I'm at work on time. Not because I felt like I had to, which I did, but I had to, I had to get there, but I wanted to get there, right? And so what I want you to do is think about the things that you really want for yourself. Do they pull you or do they push you? If they push you, no amount of motivation is going to help you to put things that you procrastinate off to the forefront. But if things pull you, you'll prioritize and take, take on those things that you don't really want to do and extend your career, extend your family life or whatever else it is that, that the, uh, the task is related to. So first, think about whether things pull you or push you. Again, motivation comes and goes. What compels you to move forward is life-changing. So find something that pulls you, right? Create a list of tasks that allow you to be pulled towards the things that you need to do for yourself. So for example, if you want to have a change in career, really think about the steps that you have to take. Do you really want to do it? Or do you just do it because you're trying to get the job? See, it's not pulling you, right? It's pushing you so that you can get the application in or get the job that you want for the income right? That's the wrong way to go about it. You'll be procrastinating forever with work tasks or things that you need to do to get the job. So first, analyze whether or not something pulls you or pushes you, and then prioritize the tasks so you get the most difficult things done first. Then you build some momentum and you knock everything else out, okay? I want to talk to you soon. Take care. All the best.